Hi, this is Wayne Johnson with Angler's Habitat, and you can find us at www.anglershabitat.com. Today, we're going to talk about reels. First of all, we're going to talk about a reel we've had here in the store since pretty much we started. The Lampson Waterworks reels made right here in Idaho, and, uh, and then we're going to talk about the hatch reel, but we're just going to briefly mention the hatch reel because the hatch reel is something we just picked up at the Denver show this year, and I just want to kind of get your mouth watering about it. So tomorrow we'll talk more about that. But today we're going to talk about the Waterworks Lamps and Reel. I've got five different models here to talk about today. Of course we have the Lightspeed, the Vanquish, the Guru, the Conic, and the Velocity. A couple things we're going to talk about. A lot of you folks already need this and we're just going to kind of review it because I still get the same uh, questions. So we're going to go through how to switch the uh, retrieve right to left, how to take the spool off, what makes this reel a great reel on the, in salt water as well as fresh water. We're going to talk about the differences between the reels, what makes a light speed a, you know, a better choice than say a Velocity or a Conic or the Guru. So um, let's first talk about taking the reel apart. First of all, every Lampson uh, reel that they make is basically the same way as far as taking it apart. You take the reel, like here, and you take opposite of your handle, the back side here, you grab the reel body like this, you take your thumbs right in here, yeah, if you can see that right there, and you just push. So what you're going to do is your, these fingers will hold everything stationary, we're going to push just like that, we take it apart, there you go. Now a lot of people ask me, well does that ever come apart fishing? I will tell you that I've never had that complaint. So I wouldn't worry about it and uh, you should be good to go. Okay, what that does is it exposes the, of course, the uh, spool and you'll see the little clicker right there. And some people don't like the clicker, you can actually remove that if you want. And then what we have here is just a little gear and that's what the clicker is going to uh, make its noise with. So we take that apart, like so. And right there you'll see a little nut with the gear on it and it's got a little o-ring that keeps moisture and debris from getting inside the gear. Right here you've got the clutch assembly, a stainless steel clutch assembly made in West Germany. You know the Germans make great things and, uh, and the new clutch assembly will be red just like this. Now the old one will be straight silver. Now these things just do not fail. We've had really good luck with them versus the old style. So you want the red one. All the new reels for the last three to four years comes with the red one. And if you want to switch your drag, you just remember, the. by the way I don't remember, just remember the way you took it out and flip it the other way. And we just put it right back in like that. And I just twist it a little bit till I hit that detent there. It just went in. Okay, so basically what you're doing here is that exposed view. There's the Delron cone, which is the heart and soul of this uh, reel. There is your clutch assembly right here. You can see it. And there is where it needs to be that detent, right? Like so. And so what happens is this goes around. It enters that cone, which is right in here. This is the whole drag assembly. There's actually a cone inside that, and that all sits in there, and that creates your drag. By the way, this does not create any heat, and it's vented right there, which makes it a very smooth drag. No, uh, you won't have any quirking with the, as the fish takes off, which is real important to your tippets. When a fish takes off, and if your tip, if your drag's not working right, you're going to get a little pulsating action going on with your tippet, and it'll lead to failure. You don't want that to happen. Okay. So we've got another drag assembly here, which is from the same line of reels from the Lampson reels, but it's from the Vanquish. It's a saltwater version of the reel. You can also use it for spay if you wish, and you'll notice comparably it's a much larger area. There's your cone area right in here. Here is the cone to the Vanquish. This is the cone to your light speed or velocity. So you can see it's quite a bit larger. Here is your clutch assembly. And by the way this reel has two of them not just one. And I uh, only have one here as a demonstration but it only has one. And there, of course, there's your nut that you put it together. And there again, there's that O-ring. Now we're going to first talk about, and let's put this all back together here real quick. 
There we go. Pop. By the way, you want to hear that pop. That lets you know you got it back together right. Okay, we'll move this out of the way. Let's talk about, we're going to start with the Conic first. The Conic is the least expensive reel that Lamson makes. The thing I love about the Conic, it has the same exact drag assembly as your most expensive Lamson reel. So you know the heart and soul of this reel is very durable, very reliable, and it's going to get the job done that you want to get done. Now this reel here is injected molded aluminum, and that is its only drawback. But for the price, you still can't beat it. What they do is they take a mold, they put molten aluminum in there, and they let it cool, they put a finish on it, and voila, basically that is it. Real simplified, but that is it. Now, they have to use a little more material to get your strength. So this reel, comparatively, is a little heavier than, say, its cousin, the Velocity, or the Guru. Now, another thing about molded aluminum, it's not going to be quite as strong as machined aluminum. So, if, but if you take good care of your equipment, it doesn't matter. It'll still work and it'll work a long time for you. But this reel will have a tendency, if you bend it, it will actually break. So uh, you want to be real careful and you want to take good care of it. But anyway, these reels start at about $139. I don't know exactly what the prices are. I should have had a little chart in here with me, but uh, it starts at about $139 and they go up from there. Very reasonable, very reliable, and, uh, and if you're a person on a budget, this is the reel you want to have. Okay, the next one up, now I brought the, um, a large model of it. This is the Lamson Guru. Now the Guru is the first reel that Lamson makes that is machined aluminum. That means they take a, a complete bar stock aluminum, it comes in round tubes, they put it in a CND machine and they machine it down until you get one of these. Now this is the same way folks. You take it apart just like that, you grab the back, like here the frame, and just push it out and it comes right apart. You hear that pop? That's because it's nice and tight in there and that's what we want. And again, there's your drag assembly right there, which will come apart, like so. And there's your clutch in there, and you just pop it out, flip it, and you're ready to go the opposite direction. Now one thing about Lamson Reels, they have a lifetime warranty. They've got a great warranty department. If you have any problems, they will fix that reel for you for free. Now I know that's the case, because I've actually taken reels down there for customers and had them fixed, since they're only about 20 miles from us put it back together, pop it together. Now the big difference between, the main difference between a Guru and the velocity or the light speed is first of all the Guru does not have the hard all-ox finish. It has a great finish but it's not the hard all-ox finish. Another thing is it's not machined quite as much as say these two reels, so this reel is going to be just a little heavier. Uh, I think personally the Guru is the best buy in the Lamson line. I think, uh, again, it's very durable, it looks great, it's very functional, and it's machined aluminum. I like machined aluminum. Uh, so again, it's a great value, great reel. Then you get into the Lamson Hard Olex, introduced this, this year, the 2010 model. And you can see this reel has a lot more machining done to it here. And they've hollowed it out here to make it just a much lighter reel than its predecessor and also a much lighter reel than the Guru. Uh, again, the same drag, it, got, it has a conical cone drag, and again, very durable. It comes in size one all the way to four, and a 1.5 as well. And uh, it's great for spay, it's great for switch rods, it's great for your lightweight rods. And now you've got the top of the line of the freshwater reels in this uh, line right here, your lamps and light speed. As you can tell, the light speed is much more machined than your velocity. You come look at the spool right here, which is that large arbor, which we, again, like. One thing I like about Lampson, all their reels have a really large arbor, uh, which is very nice for quick pickup, keeps your line organized, and, um, and it'll hold uh, more line, too, if you want to go ahead and have more backing on there. But you can see right here the porting inside the arbor of the spool makes this reel a lot lighter. In the lighter weight reels, this reel is about 20% lighter than a Velocity. 
So uh, if, the, if that's what you're looking for, you're looking for a light reel that's very durable, light speed is the ticket. Now just a few years ago they put the hard Olex finish on here, uh, which is done in an anodization process. It's a great finish, very durable, it's hard to damage these reels, hard to scratch them, very nice. Well this last year, uh, there everybody was very excited at Lanson and we were here, they introduced a new reel called the Vanquish. We're going to talk a little bit about the Vanquish today. Now one thing about this reel, it weighs nothing. I, I wish you had it in your hand right now and you could see the extensive machining that's gone down, uh, gone into this. Another thing you'll notice if you could see right here is the V cut and the spool. What that does, it gives you more line capacity, more backing, yet you don't have to make the frame of the spool any larger. And you can see as well as this one here, we're going to push this off too. You can see this is all machined as well. Very, very strong, very, very durable, very, very light. What they did too is they took the foot of the reel and they incorporated it into the frame of the reel. So basically you have no attach point there. That means you have no area that possibly would fail uh, when you're fighting that big fish. So um, nice drag knob, lots of room to grab it. That's one thing I do not like about a reel. I want to have room to grab that drag knob, drag knob, excuse me. Okay, and you can see there's not much to that body. There's just not much there. But it is plenty strong enough to uh, take the rigors of, uh, of the fight of the day. So we're going to take this one apart and I'm going to show you the, uh, well, one thing, uh, it looks like on the Vanquish 8, it only has one clutch. I believe on the heavier rails, they have two, but this is the Vanquish 8 and, it's, and it only has one. So anyway, we just put it back together and I just flipped the drag over and we're going to put it back together. Again, you've got the seal right there on the inner side of the nut. Now one thing I like about Lamson is uh, in today's market, I want to try to buy USA made products. And this is made in the USA. It's made in Boise, handcrafted in Boise. Their headquarters is in Ketchum, Idaho, which is not too far from us either. So uh, either way, it's an Idaho product and we really like that idea. So basically, that is Lamson in a nutshell. Uh, and tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to go over hatch reels. I brought the hatch reels out here just to kind of wet your whistle and get you ready to talk about hatch tomorrow where we talked about Lamson today. And uh, shortly we're going to go through every reel we carry. That means Abel, Abel excuse me, Tiber, all of them. So uh, give us a call here at Angler's Habitat. Oh, our number here is 208-454-8188. Or look us up on the web at www.anglershabitat.com. And if you want to give us a call, we can talk reels, we can talk rods, whatever you want to talk about. But uh, just give us a chance and uh, we'll uh, talk, uh, talk about reels and see if we can direct you in the right direction. Thank you much. Have a great day.